Hey guys, it's Wanda and today we're outside. I'm going to show y'all a few differences between huckleberries and blueberries and wild blueberries. I had a lot of people say something about our huckleberries were not huckleberries. Well, yeah, in the deep south we have huckleberries. I'm going to try and show some up close of what I'm picking today. I'm going to show you a wild blueberry that we have and then I'm going to show you our tame blueberries. And let's go for a ride. Now we're over by the cabin and this is a huckleberry and I'm going to try and hold it still because the wind is blowing and this may not have been the best day to do this but you see the little berries and how many are on here. Lots and lots. Now this tree doesn't have that many leaves on it compared to some others and the little the berries are just loaded. You can see the difference here. This is a huckleberry, and there's several varieties. We found that out several years ago. You see there's lots of leaves, and you see the shape of the leaves. The other one didn't have as many leaves, but it had more berries. And you see there's a few berries. I picked the berries that were ripe off of this one, but there's only sporadic berries on this one. And it's about, it's, uh, I'd say, five foot eight ten inches tall the top branches might be close to six foot but for the most part this is a bush it's not a tree and this one right here is all leaves there's hardly any berries see one down in there but mainly lots of leaves so different types of berries. We also found out that some berries are round, some are shaped like teardrops, and some are real tiny, and some are real big. Different trees, different size berries. This one, you see how tiny these berries are? I'm talking little bitty and they don't get much bigger than that and they turn like this one right here but this tree loads up with leaves and you can't tell there's anything under there till you pick it up and look at the little berries that are under it it hides its berries well from creatures like birds they love these things and they're tiny this is littler than a bb and oh, the taste. I read somewhere that um, people that were out riding bicycles or walking, hiking, they find these, they eat them as little snacks along the way. I do too. When I come out, that's what I look for. And it's this is April. These are usually ready April to May. This one is on this side of the cabin, and you see it is really, really loaded, but the freeze almost done a number on some of these. Uh, you can tell they look a little different, little, it's not because they're turning yet, some of them are, but some of them, the freeze got a little bit on them, but this tree usually is just loaded, so the freeze did do a number on it, but you can see there's still going to be quite a few ready in there. Now I've already picked some and you can see the size of these. These are what we consider a big huckleberry. One thing you'll notice is I have designated trees like here, one over there, one here, 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 over in front of that barrel and here in the backyard of the cabin. Now the reason is, I, when this was all woods, I used to walk through here and pick huckleberries off of all these trees. And it was snaky and crazy. And Danny would come with me most of the time and keep an eye out for snakes because it was kind of grown up. We had a path and we came through. When we cleaned out for the cabin, we left huckleberries and we transplanted some to our front porch to the sidewalk down the front of our house 
Now we're off to the side of the house where the high tunnels are and we left huckleberries here also around the trees so that I could walk and have an open space and no creatures underneath. When we cleaned our yard and as we found the huckleberries, Danny just cleaned up around them and left them wherever they were at. We didn't have to transplant any of these. These are in their natural hab habitat. This is where they started growing. And this is where they will stay. We do not chop these down. We don't trim them. Um, they usually don't freeze, but uh, this year they bloomed out early because we had some really hot, hot, hot weather for really too long early and they bloomed out and we lost a lot of them. Usually these trees would, I mean, you can see here, you see all this? This is where it bloomed out and things died on the ends of these. You can see how it died in there. You got your green, but you can see where it died. So it did kill some and we still got a decent crop though. This tree here is at the beginning of our blueberry orchard. And you can see how many berries are on it. I picked a lot off of this one yesterday. So there's not many left to, that are ripe right now. They're all green. But I'll give it a couple of days and come back and these will pop. But these are blueberries. These are not ripe, but let me show you something. My huckleberries are the size of the beginning of a blueberry. These blueberries have only been on here a couple of weeks and the huckleberries the same size. So these blueberries are the premieres and they will get to be, they're the rabbit eye. They get to be huge, almost some of them as big as a quarter. They get to be gigantic. But this is the leaves of blueberries. You can buy these in town all day long and we have blueberries all over the place and we let them go like trees. They do awesome. We have 50 blueberry bushes, we call them, around on this property. And most of them are right here. This is our wild blueberry. Danny found this many years ago when he was cleaning around in the woods making trails and he left it and when he cleaned for the cows, um, they, don't eat, they don't mess with it. I guess they might eat something down low, but for the most part, they leave it. And I'm not sure if we have any blueberries on it at all. We've got a grapevine in it, um, but that's, yeah, here we do. Look, all right, we have blueberries. They're really, really tiny. Right now they're tinier than the huckleberries because they come on and they don't get ripe for a couple of more months. But you see they are definitely berries and this is not a huckleberry. This is actually a wild blueberry. Danny found it. It grows in clumps like this. He left all of them when he was doing it and they grow up and hang over. 
so different and it's just crazy. The leaves are so much bigger than the huckleberry leaves because the huckleberry leaves are about half this size. We're going to take one of these wild blueberry leaves and I'm going to show you upside of a huckleberry leaf in a little bit. If you don't know your berries, you would not know a blueberry from a huckleberry in the wild. And I would always advise that you ask somebody before you just assume. Danny found this one and researched it out to know that it was a blueberry and not a type of huckleberry, but we're gonna go compare a leaf. Now these woods were f full of huckleberries and you see there's nothing. It's just trees now. The cows love the huckleberries as much as I do, but they seem to leave the blueberries. They don't pull them over and eat them off. Okay, all these huckleberries. Look at the wild blueberry leaf beside the huckleberry. That is a difference in a wild blueberry leaf and huckleberry leaves. This huckleberry tree is getting very tall. <laughs> I can call this one a tree. But again, the size of the leaves as opposed to the wild blueberry. Very much different there. This one is loaded down big time. This one's here in front of our house. It has been here for, I was here when I got here. So it's been a long time, but these, the cold got a lot of these and they just fell off. Danny and I come out and looked and they just shriveled up and fell off, but there's still a good many little berries in there on some of it. This side of the tree seems to have more berries than the other side. So that would tell you where the cold hit the hardest but I'm gonna take you up to the sidewalk now this is the front of my house and Danny and I long time ago after we've been married 10 years so probably about eight years ago decided we wanted the laddered post we had a sign hanging and it was made out of some wood that did rot so we need to find another sign to go up here but the ladder will be there from now on and down the sides of the sidewalk we put lightered all down and if you don't know what lightered is it's fat pine lightered it is the center of ancient pine trees that burns you can strike a match to it peel you off a piece and strike a match and it lights like crazy um, we have azaleas all out here we have the english dogwoods on each side we have a yopon that needs to go english dogwood here and I put, uh, is it Lantana? I can't remember. Down, this yellow down in the leaves here. You'll see it off and on. It's starting to come out right there. This had knockout roses when I came. And most of them had died back and were not doing very well. Danny and I went out in the woods and tagged a whole bunch of huckleberries in the spring while they were making berries and we knew which ones had big berries and things like that we tagged some of the smaller trees they were they were not very tall and they weren't very big around and we put tags on them and left them till the winter time and in the winter when they were dormant we went out and we dug up every one of those little trees and we come transplanted them here now huckleberries love to be under trees as you can see and they've grow up next to other trees and we lost two or three but we didn't lose very many uh, huckleberries are very very hard to transplant so these are some of the berries and here again, blueberry, wild blueberry versus huckleberry. The leaves look alike except the size. That's the difference. And I come through here now, I don't have to worry about snakes usually. Now they still a snake might come on my sidewalk, but I can see him. 
And so I have all these berries. I done been picking, so y'all, there's not many berries on these right now. They're all green, but thousands of berries right outside my door. And I had a, a friend come one time when they were just switches and she said, what happened to your hedge bushes? She said, they look horrible. She thought I'd gotten a disease in my hedge bushes and they died. You see, they're all shapes, all sizes. Some of them are small and just loaded. And some of them are a little taller. And then you have these two here. This one just went to town and it just went and grew. It was transplanted the same time as all the others. And this one grew, but now the cold got some of it and it died back. And these huckleberries are self pruning. And this tree usually produces abundantly, but this year, a lot of them froze. So which ones froze, which ones didn't? <laughs> it's kind of hard to say sometimes, but you see, these are getting ready to turn. But I think it makes a beautiful sidewalk. And look at here. Every year, it's done faded, but every year a piece of the knockout rose comes out. It's under this sidewalk, and when we dug it up, this is not the knockout, it's actually the root stop to the knockout, because the knockouts were yellow. So I can say this is a root stop to the knockout roses. A piece had grown under the sidewalk, and we thought we'd dug everything up, but every year, Every year I get a rose bush coming back out from the root and they're always red. So I hope you guys enjoyed huckleberries versus blueberries versus wild blueberries. The blueberries you buy in the store versus the wild ones. They're all different. Huckleberries are one of my favorites. They're tiny but they add up fast when you go to picking them if there's a lot of them. And they are great like in smoothies, oatmeal, muffins, cakes. I've made huckleberry jam and huckleberry jelly. Make some great stuff, y'all. Thank you guys for stopping by Crazy Days.